Wait a minute. Pa, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another, uh, I guess, installation video. Uh, this time it is for the Model Mods EL Light Mod for the uh, Eagle Moss Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hopefully this won't take too long, but um, I need to warn you, because I'm only on issue 91, um, we're basically gonna be doing this in a couple stages. Now, we have kind of like the main wiring harness, I guess, for the entire car. This kind of runs down the middle, to the back, to the front, and um, and that's like the main piece for the uh, running all the wiring. And then we also have kind of like this, I don't know if it's like a power converter or inverter or capacitor or what, but um, this is basically what's going to fit up inside the car inside um where the battery compartment used to be so we've got that um we also have the two el wires for the back which have the black bands on them and those will go kind of um, out the back and up the sides and up to the top on either side so there's two of those uh, there's also one with a blue shrink wrap this will actually go around the front of the car and then we also get Hello. We also get the orange one, and this will actually wrap up inside. Uh, I guess it'll go up inside the plutonium chamber. So um, we'll have that as well. And we'll have to make sure that this is wired up because um, when we put the, when we actually mount the body to the car in the remainder of um, issue 91, which I haven't, I think I'm going to do that as a separate issue. So really all we're going to do uh, right now is we're going to install this, then we're going to install this, and then we'll kind of hook everything up to make sure everything works. And then we'll disconnect everything. Well, not everything, but the EL wire, except for this, because <laughs> this will have to go up through the body. But um, the reason why I'm doing it this way is, is these EL wires are kind of um installed at later issues i think one is like 95 or 96 and then there's another one later i think this one even um even though you have this hanging out of the car um it doesn't actually go into the uh what do you call it the the plutonium chamber i guess until much later and i'm not exactly sure what the issue on that is but maybe we'll find out a little bit later um so uh, first thing we want to do is, well, let's see, let's see what the instructions say. Um, the instructions say to lay this piece out here. So I'm just going to throw that away. Um, with the red section kind of going this way, or is that the blue section? That's the red and the blue section. So this will probably be going towards the front of the car. And yes, these three will be going towards the rear of the car. Yes, okay. Um, so basically it kind of has the car, actually let me unplug. I have the um, power mod installed. I need to unplug that, so let's do that. So it kind of has the car facing this way. And then I'm just gonna kind of tip this off and to the side if I can. It's kind of a pain because <clears throat> we've got all these other wires. And so this is essentially gonna kind of go like this somehow. Though I don't think we're gonna be able to put, I don't know, maybe this will go up inside that hole I'm not exactly sure. Um, let's see, it says blue arrow indicates the front of the chassis. So it's it basically has the shrink wrap part right about at this hole right here. So right in there. Um, the wire in place, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, in this step, make sure one of the blah, blah, blah. So it's saying that one of the power mod plugs 
Uh oh, what just fell out there? Which I think I'm going to use one that goes. Uh, I don't know. Let's see, power mod. Yeah, let's use one of the ones that come off the front. So where's my screwdriver? So we'll just pull that out. See what I'm doing from way over here. Okay. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> Okay, so it's basically asking us to make sure that one of these is essentially pushed back in to the side. Wait, where is it going? And since it's on the other side of the car and my arm is in the way, I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Um, It's like just so there's so many freaking wires on this thing it's almost ridiculous all right so this is gonna fit basically down in here somehow don't want to put it up on top of the engine, but I don't have much of a choice. Well, if I knew that I had to... Oh, there we go. If I knew that I had to not push one of those through in the beginning, it probably would have been a little bit easier. All right. So that's pushed through, lay the red color wire on top of the fuel tank. Um, so this is the fuel tank back here. We've got all these wires. This, I think, is supposed to go down this side. And so, so this is coming off the front and then it kind of puts the red wire like this, kind of like on top of this, kind of like loops these underneath the fuel tank a little bit, but but kind of like this. Lay the red color on top of the fuel tank. And then the blue color coated wire can be secured under the wire tidy bracket that we just got done screwing down. So this, this right here. So now I guess I gotta unscrew this again. What do I do with my screwdriver? There we go. There's so, so many wires underneath this thing right now. Um, I, I really cannot wait to get this issue finished because the, my DeLorean, like I haven't really worked on it a lot, lot since June. And it's like, 
I think it's like August 24th right now. So I haven't worked on it in a very long time. Okay, now it's kind of showing. It's kind of showing this. Can you guys see that? The blue part. The end, of, well, the end of this is kind of like right here. And I believe that the flux band is actually gonna, like this is gonna kind of poke out the side of the car and then the flux band will actually go around the front and then loop back to it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, you can now fully attach the intersection back onto the vehicle chassis. You will need to connect all the required wires correctly as found in the Eagle Moss instruction booklet. Um, okay, and it kind of goes on to talk about the, um, let's see, the endings should look something like this. All right, so, oh, okay, all right, I got it. <clears throat> so what we're doing, what we're going to be doing here is, wait, why, why is the red part, because it's, it's basically saying that, I don't know what it's saying, uh, and this step makes sure, the blah, 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 blah. now do the same with the red color coded wire, not the blue. Not the blue. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so this piece, this little, uh, where the red shrink wrap is, this piece also has to go into here. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. And I'm only because, only because I think we have to put the battery, we have to kind of pull the other wires through into the back. Oh no, we got to take this whole thing off. <gasps> Fudge. All right. Yeah, stay. I must have left my, this Phillips head screwdriver in my magnet for a long time because it is like super magnetized right now. And am I gonna be able to pull this off very far? Yeah. I'm just gonna grab that plug. We're gonna pull that through up into here. Now it's telling us to, to cut this, the switch holder out, but I think I'm gonna leave that on there or I'm gonna at least try to. I try to be as non-destructive with my models as I possibly can. So I'm gonna try to leave that on there, but let's flip this back over. I've got more screws falling out everywhere. So yes, this little piece, the little white end, we're gonna, just gonna shove that through there, like so. And I guess that this will probably go up, let's see if we can get this underneath these wires. This, I think, is going to go kind of up this way. 
like this. Though it doesn't really say much about, you know, it just says like put this up here. So I guess. Yeah. I guess these two wires will kind of wrap up in here. I don't see, I just don't know how much clearance this piece has. I guess I can just set these on top for right now and we can find out. I kind of feel like I should wrap these, these wires underneath these too, but I just don't know that I'm gonna have enough room because I don't think they're really long enough. See what's happening here. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> well, let's kind of continue on because once we get this next bit installed, which is going to be this piece, um, we'll kind of have a little bit better idea of where we need to go. So we got this out. I got a... Yikes. Get my iPad out here. Um, you know, I just whacked the screen against something, which is not good. Uh, I'm going to kind of move forward a little bit to where we're actually installing this. Now, this part I know is going to be fed back into the car because it's got to come out to the back for, I don't know, plugs into something. <clears throat> so, let's see. Carefully turn the collar, remove six screws. Da -da BM, two rear LM. Then in this step, you need to check 1.21 gigawatts. Now it's showing. It's showing that we're supposed to cut these supports out so that we can essentially tape this piece to the back. And I'm gonna see, I don't think I have a, I don't have a Dremel cutting wheel handy here, so yeah. I've got some vice grips. I wonder if I could kind of just snap those out Because they want us to tape it right there. Yep. Wait, did I just, put, oh yeah, I did push the little thing through. So we've got both of these plugs. So essentially what's gonna happen here is this is gonna plug in here. We can, we can actually plug these in, it's no big deal. Always make sure black to black, red to red. And then this one here plugs into this. But notice that there's only a red cable and not a black one. That is intentional because it's gonna complete the circuit loop. So it's essentially getting its power through the red. Well, that's, that's the other argument. We still don't know whether or not black or red is power, but <laughs> black is ground. Um, but anyway, to complete the circuit and to actually turn this on, um, works off the switch that goes to the, um, I think it's the one that goes to the, uh, the, the, the little LED that we're supposed to get later for the plutonium chamber. So that's going to hang off. That's going to connect to another connector that I think is on the back of the car somewhere. And then, you know, so when we hit that button, it'll turn this on, which will turn all the EL lights on. So, yeah. Um, so cut away, use double sided tape, optional screw and screw inverter into place. Oh, oh, I see. It's actually has a screwing it into that, which would 
require a lot more disassembly. But I don't think, like if you don't, you know, if you don't mind it like flopping around in there, I don't think there's anything that really prevents you from, you know, from it just flopping around in there, really. Um, just trying to see if there's like any other way it'll fit. No, because there's screw things there. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we've got some old um, five scripts here. I'm going to set this aside. And I'm just going to try to break these off. No problem. And actually, those came off pretty clean. Let's try this other one. Yeah, so this came off nice and clean. So this will allow me to stick that right there. So we'll just do that. Okay. So now I'm just going to tuck all these wires in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got to push this back through here, which is going to be super fun because we've got tons of wires going through this hole. Pull this through. Man, this is a pain. <laughs> All right, so now that I've got those through, let's see, I am going to, actually let's disconnect this. Just so I can kind of get these out of the way. <clears throat> and I'm just going to kind of press these up into here like this. Actually, let's do underneath the loop. So this top loop will kind of hold that into place and then pull the white one back through and just press these other ones down. And now we will connect these up and then just kind of lay those in there like that. And I think we're in business. Now I just have to figure out where all my wires are going, or all my screws are going, I'm sorry. I already don't know where the wires are going, so. All right, um, do I have the battery cover? I think I might have left the battery cover in the other room <clears throat> while I was working on it. Um, is this the other? I think this might be this side. No, no, it's definitely not. I think. Well, let's see. I know that these go up here. So I think this one goes here. Ah. 
Aha, here's the big one. So it's the, the longer screws go kind of in these front holes, these shorter screws go back here. So hopefully this is the last time I ever have to take this thing off because I tell you what, it is getting rather annoying. here boom all right so let's clean up here all right so now next I guess I don't have the battery cover up here so Oh well, I guess. All right. What I want to kind of do is just rock this back down. And actually, let's switch sides here this time. Back to this side. And the only reason why I want to rock this side up is because all these connections are right here and I can kind of try to get the the wiring squared away a little bit better because right now it just looks like we have tons of wire just kind of like hanging out all over you know everything I mean there's just wires literally going everywhere in this car um, so all right, so it's like put this up around here. Uh, I'm kind of use this to prop that up there. Okay. The rear of the vehicle locate the black and green color coded wires from the e -well, EL wire splitter. These should be on the right side of the vehicle. So, this thing right here um, route the rear splitter cables as shown. Within the blue circles. Oh, the monkey. Route the rear splitter a seat at the rear of the vehicle. So is this like one and this and this the other? Okay, wait, so I gotta just kind of skip forward because the instructions aren't perfectly clear. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so this one actually should route over to this side. And we've got all these other wires that are part of the something else. <laughs> all right, so basically we want to take these wires, let's see, how do those hang down again? Oh, okay. So they're, they're basically just showing these as like hanging off the inside. So let's, can I just pop this under here? Not quite. So basically the one with the green side, you want to go on the right side of the car. And then it's just asking us to strap these down with the, 
with the other wires. Uh oh. Did I just drop the? I did. Don't fall. Oh. This is such a rat's nest of parts. It's almost, it's almost at times like annoying how many wires and things go into this. But I think once I get this, once I get this part done, I think this is pretty much going to be the finish of any of the the major modding that I'm going to be doing to the car. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more of the radio mods. I mean, at this point, I even think the um, circuit board mod is kind of out of the question because it's just too much disassembly. Um, and... Uh, just have so many hours that I can devote to this thing. Okay. So all those are in there. Um, we've got this piece, which I think... Actually, I think the green part, I think this connects up to... I think this connects up to the orange EL wire, because this is actually going to... Uh, there's a going to be a hole up in the rear side of the chassis that the that this wire fits up through. So I think that's what that's for. So we'll have that there, and then over here, wire 21. I'm not sure what 21 connects to. <clears throat> Actually, I think 21 was the wasn't it these wire? Oh no, this is 20. What the heck does 21 go to? Great. I don't know. You guys are supposed to tell me this stuff. Actually, the instructions are supposed to tell me, but... I guess I'm going to have to go back and look through the instructions, because I don't know. Wait. So I guess 20 is this 21 is going to hang back here. I don't know. And it only shows like these wires kind of. Because I think 22, I think that's for like the brake lights or something. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so this these hook down like that. This is on here like that. These are up here in the front. Uh, this wire here comes way back. <clears throat> I just have to look this up. Okay, now connect the white plugins together if possible. Try to remember. 
Remove the three screws and thread the thin wire underneath the pipe as shown. Wait, what? I think it's talking about this, this wire right here. It just says the thin wire. Guide the long thin wire underneath the pipe and out of the other side as the blue arrows. Now the wire, so the previous step, screw. It says pass the end of the plug. Yeah, th I don't think this is necessary. You should now be able to attach the two plugins together, cable wire 23. Do not force the wire. Okay, and then everything else is just connecting up the EO wires. I don't think that's really necessary. I think I can, so here's wire 23 right here. So we basically just have to move this. Great. Um, is it not long enough? Technically, I guess I could send, you just unclip the spring wire 23 back through. And then connect this up. And that should be the circuits completed. Now, the, the next test is to ouch is to is not to ouch is to um, actually connect all these up and see if any of this stuff actually works so and then i'm gonna have to do a bunch of fiddling with the wires probably probably do that off screen because i know that's usually super boring to watch and you guys can kind of figure that out on your own hello what was that it just fell over okay power on so we're just gonna go bam bam okay 88 is on dash is on time circuits are on and then So where did this hook up again? We had, oh, right here. So this actually might come right on. Yep, bam, right there. Not sure if you can, I think it's the first switch, yeah. You see it, yep, you can see it turning on and off. So um, from that point, we've got the blue one for the front here. And, um, I don't want to really take all these out, but I just want to test them out really quick. So let's, yeah, there's blue there. I wish I had my, I don't know what I did with my X-Acto knife. Get one side over here. Yep, there's that one. And then last but not least, pull this out, pull this up, and boom. So we've got blue E wire. One, two, three, we've got the orange here. So that's basically it. Um, really everything else right now is just bolting this back to the chassis um, and then continuing on with issue 91, which is where we're gonna start up um, in the next episode, I hope. Um, actually, I don't hope, I know, because we gotta get moving on this. Um, it's been way too long and I'm really getting antsy. So, but we had to get all of this done and I kind of had to work it out in my brain. How did I want to do all of this um, before we uh, moved forward with the build? Uh, because I don't want to have to take the car back apart again, ever again. So that's the model mods 
EL wires, guys. Um, not too terribly bad. Trust me, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Um, available, I'll have the link down in the video description to the Model Mods website. Um, I don't think I can link directly to each individual mod, but maybe I can. And then of course this will stay on here. Well guys, that is gonna be it for this time. Thank you so much once again for joining me. Um, I really appreciate hanging out with you guys, showing you guys the trials and tribulations that I have to go through to benefit you, hopefully. Hopefully these, ben these videos uh, benefit you guys. That's it right there. The Eagle Moss is going to focus up uh, Eagle Moss. The model mods is done by Corey and Chloe. Uh, the EL light mod pick yours up today. Um, just do me one favor. If you, you have to have the power mod in order to correctly install this. Otherwise it's kind of a pain to, to connect up, get yourself the power mod, install it, in issue 32 or 34 whenever they recommend it get that as soon as possible because trust me tearing the car apart like i've had to do is just a ginormous pain and i don't recommend it <laughs> so get your um your, your el light mods get your um power mods and obviously your, your flux and your tree mods um from them um, I would get them, I mean, as soon as you start the model, because they do uh, sometimes have a backlog, especially on the uh, the flux and the trees, so that, you know they, they can run a few weeks or a few months behind, just depending on how, uh, you know, how much demand there currently is. So, uh, but thank you so much. If this was helpful to you guys, please uh, hit that thumbs up button, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Let me know how your installation went, or if you did something different than me, um, I would love to hear uh, your thoughts about um, uh, what you guys did. Uh, if you have not done so, uh, please be sure to subscribe for this and all the rest of the DeLorean videos, plus other models and other video games and all kinds of fun stuff. So that is going to be it. Thank you so much again for joining me. I am Brad M73 and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.